The day's finally come to meet up with Zuria. Let's head over to Fremenay's camp right away! Uh, is your child feeling any better? Thank you for your concern, Fremenay. His condition is fairly stable. The family doctor said we might be able to take him out for a stroll today. Zuria, Fremenay, we're here! <laughs> Seems like everyone's arrived now. Not quite. Aren't we missing someone? But Paimon has a guess where he might be. Hey, Doxy! A sword and a shield now! He's looking sharp! Indeed. With his weapons in hand, Thalxi looks more formidable than ever. You've really outdone yourself, Remine. We helped you! Yes, you really had a good eye for materials. Everything you found was high quality. Speaking of which, Zuria just told me that she wants to end the adventure with the coronation ceremony. So, uh, could I also trouble you with finding some materials for the crown? You can just keep an eye out for them on our way to the ruins. I was planning to collect the materials myself, but then I realized you might be able to find some prettier ones than what I could get my hands on. Everything's ready to go. Shall we head out? Please wait a moment. I was just thinking. Since Thalxi has already shown us his brand new appearance, we may already be able to draw a new page in the picture book. What do you think? Ooh, Paimon's excited now! Hmm... Why don't we use the story we know as a reference? Just make the atmosphere a bit less grim. So we'll take out the sad parts and replace them with happier stuff? Sounds great to Paimon! Alright, I'll give it a try. I'm not very adept at drawing, but I've seen a lot of art during my work. Now, as far as the actual content of the drawing, please tell me what you'd like to see. Let me think... We can draw the weapon. The prince has picked up the Sword of Courage and the Shield of Perseverance which proves he has crossed the mire of doubt, and now is ready to wage war against the darkness. Okay, I'll add the weapons. Anything else? Paimon wants to give him some friends. foxy has got some friends by his side now, so he's no longer fighting alone. Okay, I'll also draw some companions. Anything else? Color. Ah, oh, color, yes, that's really important. The road in front of him now will no longer be just grayscale, but bursting with color and hope. Who would have thought the page could have become so inspiring? How wonderful! Splendid ideas, everyone! Great! Everyone looks super pumped up! Belsie, most of all! Are you seeing this, my son? Are you feeling inspired by this as well? I'm sure he is, Zuria. And this is still just the first page. That's right! Paimon can't wait to see the picture book when it's all finished! We should finish it as soon as possible and keep up the belief and hope in our hearts! Mm-hmm. I'm starting to look forward to it as well. So let's get the show on the road and head towards the Kingdom of Water Imps! Yay! Thalsy's fantastic adventures begin!
these should be enough. I knew you'd have a knack for finding the best materials. We shouldn't need anything else to head to the Kingdom of Water Imps. Oh, is that the entrance to the underwater ruins ahead? These are the underwater ruins that Fremenet found. They're pretty amazing, but still not exactly the kind that Paimon was imagining. Oh, yeah, Paimon knows. It's just. <sighs> Paimon thought we'd actually see a fairy tale world. Like with the water imp's colorful houses and the rainbow bridge. I'm sorry. I was hoping to put up some decorations, but ran out of time to do it by myself. Whoa, someone's already switched into fantasy mode. Seems like the travelers already got the gist of things. You should do your best too, Paimon. Uh, don't underestimate Paimon! Paimon can flip the switch too! Now entering... Ahem, young adventurers, tis Paimon, guardian goddess of this land. State your goals and intentions for visiting this nation. Uh... We are the companions of Prince Thalxi, your Divine Highness. We have come to help him reclaim the glory that he has lost. Oh, reclaiming your glory? Thy goddess here has golden glory, silver glory, and bronze glory. Which is it that the prince has lost? Huh? <sighs> Not at all! This is the goddess's test! <clears throat> From your responses, the goddess has concluded that you're all brave adventurers without the taint of greed in your hearts. As such, you are worthy of everyone's respect. So please accept the goddess's reward. The goddess will now bestow all three types of glory upon you. And as for this prince, the goddess will also bestow upon you the rainbow glory, so your future will always be filled with light. My gratitude to your Divine Highness for such generous blessings. Power is now surging through every part of my body. Uh, me... Me too. Is this the Divine Inspiration of Legend? <laughs> Ahem. Now, adventurers, forge bravely ahead and defeat the monsters that have taken over the kingdom. You will be sure to find that which you seek. Please be careful, brave Just these enemies that have invaded the kingdom of water imps. They're called... I... The Chiros of the Deep. Those accursed enemies are back again. Your Highness, please show them what you're made of. Let the world come alive! <laughs> We're under attack again. It's a law which the deep. There's no need to fear, my friends. His Highness is so strong now that even a divinitural of the deep would pose no threat to him. 
It should now be time for us to attend Thuxi's coronation ceremony. The only thing is, I didn't expect this to go so smoothly. I thought it would have taken longer for us to reach the heart of the ruins. It was my mistake. I should have told Fremenay earlier that we would also need a crown. It's all because the Traveler and Goddess Paimon were too strong! We just eradicated all the monsters in one go! It's okay, Zuria. We can come back again once I've made the crown. Then I must thank all of you again for taking the time. And you too, Thuxi, my child. Thuxi's turning out to be a real expert at fighting! I don't think there's anything that will be able to stop him. He's like a true prince now. Yes, I agree as well. Let's head back to camp for now. I asked the Traveler to search for some materials on the way because I want to make the crown as soon as possible. We can add an update to Thuxi's fantastic adventures as well! Now that we've reclaimed the Kingdom of Water Imps, it's time for us to draw some new scenes in the picture book! <laughs> Zuria and Fremenay, why don't we draw the new pages first? Paimon really wants to update the picture book. Hey, you didn't have to say it out loud. <laughs> no problem, I'm happy to oblige. Then in that case, the story today should go something like this. After overcoming many obstacles, Prince Thelxi and his brave companions finally arrived at the entrance to the Kingdom of Water Imps. At this time, the little fairy in the group, Paimon, revealed her true goddess form to her companions. Woohoo! The goddess has arrived! She praised the companions for their purity, and to reward them, she bestowed upon them many blessings! and even prayed that the prince would be able to fulfill his goal. Bathed under the goddess's glory, the prince and his companions charged into the bastion of evil, chased away the monsters, and rescued the pretty water imps from their imprisonment. The prince finally managed to reclaim his kingdom. But as for the crown... Oh no, the crown isn't ready yet! No. The crown was within the prince's reach. But the monsters took it with them as they fled. They haven't given up and are sure to return. But the prince is certain to reclaim the crown the next time they fight. The brilliant rainbow shall descend onto the kingdom once more. Oh, and Paimon can almost see it all happening now! Whoa, the pages are beautiful! Surya is really talented at drawing. Thank you, everyone. We've also completed the second page of the picture book now. Thelxi's journey is one step closer to its end, and the promised coronation. My child, you'll also be able to brighten up when that time comes, right? I'm sure he will, Zuria. Who knows? Perhaps the doctor will already have some good news for you when you get back home today. I sure hope so, your Divine Highness. Oh, Fremine, about the time you'll need for the crown. Please don't worry. One day should be more than enough. Ah, then I must thank you for your hard work. All right, let's rendezvous here in another two days' time for our final adventure, okay? And see you in two days, my lovely friends. Yeah, 
I'll need to go to the city shortly to get some parts for the base of the crown. I want to try out a few different designs and choose the one that looks the best. Yeah, Paimon knew that you didn't often take commissions from others, but Paimon had no idea you'd be so dedicated once you're on the job. Ah, uh, well, about that, it might be because... Uh, because what? It's because... I hope... Uh, what's the matter? And what's with that look on your face? You're turning red! And it looks like you're about to run away and put your helmet on again! Uh, am I turning red? We won't bother you anymore for today, Framine. Let's see each other in two days' time. Okay. Thank you. See you in two days. <sighs> I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place would be able to see something beautiful and experience a miracle for themselves. Who are you? I have a patient here who needs quiet bed rest. Please leave us be unless you have anything urgent to report. <laughs> 